Hi, thank you for joining me for this video. I am Deborah Peach and you are waking up with Dev. This is regarding the category of JFK, Jack Kennedy, and um, a little bit of background information in regards to how and why he is communicating with me and what the intention is. And it all started um, in August 2013 um, in a bit of unexpected ways. Got the guy, I got the guidance to start bringing forth the date that he was assassinated and start activating that date. Now, I'm actually not going to share all of the details here because these are things that I will be sharing throughout the shows and as he brings the messages through. What I do want to say and share is, and he's actually nudging me right now and asking me to make sure that this is part of the category. The reason that I started the shows off with preparing for Jack's messages and transmissions from beyond the veil is because when I bring his energy through and the messages with the activations, regardless of whether there's activation, it is very potent energy. And he has specified that most people are not prepared, one, for his energy that he's being, that he's going to be, that I'll be bringing forth. And we are already have evidence of that with the private messages that have come forth and the um, physical and emotional things that occur with people uh, after the fact. And immediately and um, uh, very noticeable and it can be anything from uh, vomiting to tears to diarrhea to physical releases emotional releases and that's why it's very important to really understand the um, the magnitude of this energy that I have been preparing for for and being prepared to bring forth for years and that the reason that Jack is coming back is to support people to come back into alignment with the trajectory of the reality that was shifted dramatically when he was assassinated and that in order for us to swing that pendulum back there are going to be very dramatic scenarios and consequences that are, and also I'm being told to say right now that very inappropriate things are going to be revealed. Now, inappropriate, meaning uh, I'm, okay, so what that is probably going to entail is going to be the the different ways that energies have been conjured onto the planet and into people's lives and especially a very um, insidious designed assault against humanity's awakening where the people the beings of light often referred to as light workers are going to um, see the evidence hear feel see the evidence of how they actually have been targeted and I'm being told to say right now that these conjured energies have been manipulating your soul's destiny um, in ways that you probably can't understand or fathom in this moment and that this is why I'm channeling, I'm telepathically communicating right now, I'm not even channeling, I'm telepathically communicating. And that this is why it is imperative for you to, and important to engage with not only clearing your field tools, the, um, the experiential tools we offer here for master clearing your field, but also to engage with the flower of life, the Melchizedek coded message and heart chakra activation that I have just released um, as a gift to humanity. Okay, and the importance of this, I'm being told to say this right now, the importance of this is that you cannot be inundated nearly as much 
from these inappropriate energies um, as you at, um, once you activate your heart it is through the um, Okay, I'm being told. Okay, so what there's what is being said is that undesirable energies are inappropriate in their place in this awakening trajectory, and that these these energies have no place or home when your heart is wide open to receive your own glory of God frequencies and vibrations. And that is why I, Jack Kennedy, am coming through Deb to help you receive the light of your own glory of God as well as come into alignment of uh, the missed opportunities that have been vacated from your experience and the projections of your reality because there's been missed steps, side steps that have been taken to create these inappropriate energies. And the foreclosure of these energies must and can only start with an open heart that is receiving through the guidance and the guidelines of knowing thyself as God creator beings. I am Jack Kennedy and uh, this is the first public message that Deb is bringing forth and bring, bringing through. Okay. All right, so I'm just double checking on what was just being said. What is what he's saying is I, Jack, am receiving her in high vi in very high vibration light so that she can receive me. Okay, so and I just had to double check that because that that didn't seem right at first. Um I so what he's saying is that there has been a bridge that has been created. There's a simpatico. He's saying in order for you to receive my light, he's saying this to me, you needed to be able, to, uh, I needed to be able to receive your light. So there's a, um, there's an open channel, there's a highway, it's both, it's in both directions. It's not just in one direction. And the, in, the inappropriate energies that have inundated mankind for a very long time, um, what has occurred is um, they're infiltrating and interfering with your energy field. And that, that is where the um, inappropriateness comes because you're not engaging with them um, in a um, free will uh, way which Jack and I are, there has been protocols that we, that I put in place for the telepathic communications, um, probably about a year and a half ago, um, so that it would alleviate even, even more any imposters, even though, um, lots of confirmations, um, about that, uh, um, occurring, um, a, a while ago. I won't even get into that right now. What he's saying is that he and I have made an agreement that I would be receiving him and he's saying that he also needed to receive my energy in order for it to be a simpatico back and forth energy. So there's two things that I'm being shown right now. One is that when you are if people who are channeling oftentimes they are not even in they're not they don't have this agreement where that being that they're channeling um, has also received their energy and so a lot of these channeled messages are he's saying are convoluted because they are in a, um, they're not they're not in that back and forth receiving that there's just the ch channel from that um, being that's putting out the message 
and and they're inappropriate because a lot most of the time they're actually imposter energy okay and he's saying that that is something that people are going to need to start getting used to hearing from me because um that's one of the next the other categories is about calling us the uh, a spade a spade in um these different things that are going on um hold on jack i want to go back to the other thing because there was two things there was the back and forth communication so he's saying he needed to um, agree to receive my energy and once i agreed to receive his energy in the telepathic communication activations and even i'm um, sorry telepathic communications and the um, channeled messages and then the activations and he's saying that this was very important for people for you to hear this right now because there is so much inappropriateness in the energetics on the planet right now now I'm being shown um, and it's important that each of us are accountable to that. Not only are you accountable to your own field of energy, but you're also accountable to the energetics that are happening on the planet. And right now what we're existing in is an absolute free for all. And so the, um, until we actually take a stand for our energy field and clear our field as well as utilize the tools such as activating the heart chakra which most of the planet right now is shut down in fear survival and control and um, lack um, lack of abundance lack of resources lack of um, he's saying that the fortitude that people need to be to, to receive the sustenance of um, themselves as um, having courage and strength and love, that fortitude is not occurring right now because there's been so much inappropriate energies. It's basically whittled away, whittled away um, at people's hearts. And um, what I've been saying for quite some time is most of us, mo many, many people are living in a flat line existence and it's definitely surviving not thriving and so what is important here what also is being said is that an, um, one of the first ways to um, disassociate from those inappropriate energies is to activate your heart your heart chakra and with this flower of life sacred geometry it um, well with this coded message because there's codes that are being activated in that coded message and the activation that bring you into alignment with this new earth reality new earth reality codes frequencies and also the alchemical transformation necessary okay He's saying this has been a very good first message and he really wants people to know um, how important it is to understand the inappropriate energies and his intention of coming back into this com into communication as well as um, into the reality is to bring to lead the way and to bring us back into alignment with the trajectory of the reality from when he was basically taken out of physical form off of off of the planet he's saying that is complete that is accurate and it is complete this is a complete transmission thank you and namaste that's what he's saying and so i am stepping back here and saying thank you as well and that definitely was not what I had intended to bring forth as the category overview, but it is what it is, it, it, and it is what it is. And thank you for engaging. And remember 
that the most important relationship, I can't even say this enough, is a loving relationship with yourself, loving thyself. And then we'll go on from there. But first and foremost, moving into that place of vibration of loving thyself. Thank you. I am Deborah Peach, and you have been Waking Up with Deb. Is communicating with me and what the intention is. And it all started um, in August 2013 um, in a bit of unexpected ways. Got the guy, got the guidance to start bringing forth the date that he was assassinated and start activating that date. Now, I'm at that with the private messages that have come forth and the um, physical and emotional things that occur with people uh, after the fact. And immediately and um, uh, very noticeable. And it can be anything from uh, vomiting to tears to diarrhea to physical releases, emotional releases. And that's why. Hi, thank you for joining me for this video. I am Deborah Peach and you are waking up with Dev. This is regarding the category of JFK, Jack Kennedy, and um, a little bit of background information in regards to how and why he is. I'm actually not going to share all of the details here because these are things that I will be sharing throughout the shows and as he brings the messages through. What I do want to say and share is, and he's actually nudging me right now and asking me to make sure that this is part of the category. The reason that I started the shows off with preparing for Jack's messages and transmissions from beyond the veil is because when I bring his energy through and the messages with the activations regardless of whether there's activation, it is very potent energy. And he has specified that most people are not prepared, one, for his energy that he's being, that he's gonna be, that I'll be bringing forth. And we are already have evidence of that.